God's story, John. So part of God's story is about a man named John, and it begins like this. One day, John was fishing with his brother James and his dad Zebedee. His dad was a fisherman, so John had gone fishing a lot ever since they were really little. They were out in a boat, and John might even have had a couple of big, fat, juicy worms in his hand for fish bait. In the middle of fishing, they met Jesus. Jesus called to John and his brother and said, Come, follow me. Right away, they left their boat and their dad to follow Jesus. If Jesus asks you to do something, it's a good idea to do what he says. After all, he only wants what's best for you. Well, from that day on, John was great friends with Jesus. John knew that Jesus really, really loved him, just like Jesus really, really loves everyone. It feels good when you know somebody loves you, doesn't it? But John knew there were things he could do to become better friends with Jesus. Like he could talk to Jesus about what was happening in his life. And he could listen to Jesus and obey him. He could also spend time with Jesus to get to know him better. So they hung out all the time, so much in fact, that Jesus gave John a rockin' nickname. Jesus started calling him, Son of Thunder. With a name like that, John probably could have given up fishing and become a pro wrestler. But he didn't. Hmm, maybe that's because pro wrestling hadn't even been invented back then. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, while John and Jesus were hanging out, Jesus did some other pretty awesome things. Like heal some sick people, feed a crowd of thousands with only five loaves of bread and a couple of fish, walk on top of the water, and make one of his friends who had died come back to life. Imagine you had a best friend who was a doctor, a chef, and had superpowers. That's what it was like for John with Jesus. Well, Jesus told John that pretty soon he had to go back to heaven. This made John sad. John missed Jesus a lot after Jesus left for heaven. But the great thing about being friends with Jesus is that John could still pray to him and listen to him, just like we can today. Prayer just means talking to God and Jesus, asking them for what we need, saying sorry for bad choices we made, thanking them for what they've given us, and just telling them how we feel. So while Jesus was in heaven, John kept on talking to Jesus and listening to him. And one day, Jesus showed John a picture, kind of like how we see our dreams while we're asleep. John had to sit very quietly so he could see the picture. Sometimes it's hard to sit quietly, or it feels boring. But that's when we can really hear Jesus and see what he wants to show us. Jesus was showing this picture with John because John was listening to him. But Jesus wanted everybody to see it. So John wrote it down on paper, and now it's part of the Bible. It's called the Book of Revelation. Kids, a revelation is a new thing you learn. The book of Revelation tells us how Jesus wants us to live and things he wants people who follow him to do. Some of the things in Revelation sound pretty crazy, but it all ends with Jesus coming back from heaven to rescue us. He's going to come back to earth and make all the wrong things right. Revelation tells us there won't be any more crying or sickness or loneliness or fear when Jesus gets here. By the way, Jesus wanted John to share the picture because he loves everybody as much as he loves John. And we can pray and listen to Jesus too, just like John. And that's the story of John. So in case you missed it, here's a quick version. John met Jesus. Jesus asked John to follow him. John did. He became good friends with Jesus. Jesus left for heaven. John prayed and listened to Jesus. We can pray and listen to Jesus too. Jesus showed John a picture. The picture shows that Jesus is going to make all the wrong things right. Jesus wants to do this for everybody in the whole world. And that's a part of God's story. <laughs>